This is a walkthrough of DHA from the viewpoint of the investor representative. There are three different roles in Digital Health Atlas. This walkthrough covers the features available to the representative of a partner investor for WHO. The investor role is an extension role, meaning that this role has the same privileges as the project implementer, but with a few extended permissions, which I'll go through here. To represent an investor in DHA, you'll need to update your profile. On the right side, you will select investor and then identify the investor you represent from the dropdown. If your group is not listed, then send an email to make a request for it to be added to the list. You can also use the question mark at the bottom right to send us a message, which will be processed the same way. WHO does not carry an exhaustive list of investor representatives, so we have implemented a peer-based permission layer that works like this. We let you assign yourself to the permission level you believe you belong, and then we forward that application to all the registered users who have already been assigned to that same permission level in your organization. From the list of options, you'll need to determine what permissions you'll need. Investor viewers means you can read and export responses to private investor questions. Investor admins means you can decide what investor questions to ask. Investor system admin will have extra set of permission related rules to a future presentation page currently in the development pipeline. For this example, we will use the investor system admin. When you submit your request, a notification will go out to all current DHA users already marked as investor representative of your group. It goes forward to the ones that have the permission you request or above. So anyone can elevate to their own permission level. In this example, we assume these steps have been taken by a colleague who approved your request. Once approved, you will now have a new link named investor admin in your profile dropdown. Investor information. The data in this section is currently for collection purposes only, but will eventually be used for a standalone investor presentation page. The ambition is to make it possible for investors to promote their cause more visibly inside DHA. This can be filled for your own records, but a notification will be circulated before any data goes on presentation pages. User management. This is where the peer permission system is managed. This will allow you to view and approve the users in the system who have requested to be approved. You can only elevate them to your own level. To approve, simply select move to approved and then save. Investor specific questions. Each investor might want to collect specific data points from the projects deployed using them as investor. With this tool, we allow investors to collect new data in both free form, but also as enumerations for future data processing in business intelligence software. Currently, it's possible to add questions as text field, numeric field, yes, no field, single choice and multiple choice. Let me make an example with a single choice field. Private switch indicates if the response to this data is sensitive. If made private, only a user with investor role privileges is allowed to view the answer. Remember to save before going on. This question now appears as an optional field on the questionnaire for any future project who selects your group as an investor.